the movie starts. And we know about the life of Chuck Noland who was trapped on an island. He decided to stay for four years. The scene begins in a company and we notice Chuck. He is serious concerning his work. Officer wants and needs that all couriers turn up on time. For this reason, he journeyed outside of the country. There are company branches but is well by his work colleagues. He tells them the value of time. Chuck is in love with a girl named Kelly. Their relationship is strong so willing to marry. However, they are unable to marry due to the demands of their professions. Christmas is being near and Chuck has a business tour in Malaysia. He has to go in case of company work. Chuck assures Kelly that he will return back on the new year. Kelly says, how will I spend my Christmas? Chuck takes her consent. Chuck and Kelly give each other Christmas. Kelly gifts him a watch in which Kelly's photo is fixed. Now Chuck departs to Malaysia. But a storm burst out and his aircraft is crashed. And it is a private aircraft of the company. There are also four more persons in the aircraft. And this aircraft crashed down into the Pacific Ocean. Only Chuck is survived who is flowed with the running water of the sea. Waking up in the morning, he finds himself in a raft. Chuck is worried seeing no one in the surroundings. Chuck calls there but there is no mark of a human being. He writes a big text help on the ground. So that any overhead passing aircraft may come to help. Night falls and he sleeps. Waking up the next morning. He checks that his written word help has been removed. Now he writes using a wooden piece. He is assured that someone will come for his help. Noticing this mark, they will move here. Now Chuck feels appetite but he gets nothing in the flowed packages of company. Now Chuck hears the sound of something. Looking in his surroundings, he observes a fallen coconut. He comes to know that it is the sound of a coconut. He gets nothing except coconut drink. He survives by drinking it. Chuck has passed three days here. His feet are also injured because of the lying rocks in the sea. He is barefooted. Cutting his pant half, he wraps its piece around his feet so that he may avoid pain. There he notices a peak of a mountain, he decides to climb it up at any cost. He thinks the possibility of climbing it up and estimating. He is able to reach that peak successfully. Now he notices something swimming in the sea. Coming down. He is left astonished that it was the dead body of his aircraft pilot. He weeps a lot and arranges his burial. But before burying. He keeps his torchlight and shoes. He was habituated to living on this island. He survives drinking the fallen dewdrop on leaves. He wants to catch the fish but cannot succeed. He does not get anything except dewdrops and coconut drinks. He depends on them while eating. Seeing a ship in the sea at night, he is overexcited. He turns on the lights of the torch calling but all in vain. The next day, he decides to leave the island taking the raft that he had. He had known, there is no one. While escaping, he is drowned in the sea because of the strong speedy waves of the sea. Meanwhile, his foot is wounded and also bleeds. Chuck returns back and rain also starts. Noticing a cave, he moves inside to spend the night there. He turns on the torch. Turning on the torch the whole night, its battery is low. He has nothing like a torch for light. Even he does not know how the fire ignited. Now he comes back and gets a few things in the company package. Which was flowed with him. Opening it, he only finds one or two useful things for him. A skating shoes which have blades at its below side. He cuts the coconut with it easily. Now he can cut anything. He cuts a wooden stick shaping it pointy. He catches the fish. He can't eat raw fish, so he tries in vain to light the fire. Chuck hits upon a plan as rubbing two kinds of wood. He may be successful. And it happens the same as getting success. The first time, he feels happiness coming on the beach. A football is also being seen by Chuck in the company package. And it attained Chuck's blood. 
He makes eyes, nose, and lips on it with his hand shaping it a human face. Making him his friend. He converses with him and keeps it beside the fire for drying. He names it Wilson. There is one more problem that aroused there which is his toothache. It is chronic pain but he never checks it up. Now Chuck wants to pull the tooth and does. And he faints with it. He spends four years on the island with the passage of time. He knows the way of survival within four years. His appearance deteriorates with the growing hair of his beard and head. He seems feeble. He was trained too much to catch the fish throwing a stick. Chuck had become the close friend of Wilson with whom he used to talk. While eating the fish, he hears a sound one day. Seeing there, he discovers a steel sheet. And he hits upon an idea as through this help, he can escape from here. Whenever. He tries to escape but sea waves become the hindrance while escaping. Now he's creating a boat from coconut wood. And he protects the front of the sheet metal. While constructing a boat was not an easy task. He decides to run away when the climate is modest. He begins to move the steel sheet forward. So that he can push water through while sitting in the boat. And he may move ahead. Putting Wilson in the boat, he sails. He faces the big waves in the voyage. But the sea distance still remained. He does not know when will the land be visible. He was optimistic about reaching the house. But it was not a child play. He has to face the worst circumstance in the voyage. He arranges the edible things. He saves fish as food while rainwater for drinking. He gathers the rainwater in the coconut shell. He keeps them safe to use it in difficult times. At first sight, Chuck's football that is his friend Wilson is fallen into the sea. It has crossed a distance when he knows about it. Jumping into the water, he exerts to save Wilson but unsucceeded. Returning back into the raft, he weeps at L.O.T. Wilson had accompanied him within these four years. Chuck had become touchy with it because it was not just a football for him. So he is saddened because of this loss. Now Chuck was very tired after the voyage of many days. And a ship passes before his raft. The sailor saves him after seeing. Chuck was returned back but notices the change. His friends and relatives had thought that he was no more. And his beloved friend Kelly was married now. She also has a daughter. Chuck goes to meet her and she embraces him feeling pleasure. Now Kelly is married so everything is useless. Their ways are separated. Chuck returns the given watch of Kelly because it is Kelly's family watch. He keeps the photo of the watch. Kelly says to him, you had promised me to return back. Apologizing, he is nearly to go. Kelly is still in love with Chuck but she has her own family so she cannot go. Kelly has the gifted car of Chuck. She returns it back and Chuck leaves taking this car. Seeing him, Kelly becomes sad and runs after him. Consequently, Chuck also returns and they embrace each other. Kelly tells him, I know that you are alive and surely will return. But I had to marry under the pressure of everyone. They express their love for each other. Chuck drops her at her house lifting her in the car. He says that I do not want to break your relationship. Now Chuck is sitting with his friend. And tells him that I had also tried to commit suicide on the beach. While executing myself. The thought of Kelly had touched my thought that I have to go to her. Returning back, I knew that I have lost her. Time taught Kelly to choose her life direction. And she got married. Now Chuck was left alone but life has to move on. Finally, Chuck has a package that he brought from the island. After drowning the aircraft, many packages come on the shore of the sea. He thinks to open them after returning to the house. But he does not do as such, he comes back to return the package but finds no one. Writing a paper note, he leaves at the door. On which the statement is, this package saved my life. Then he leaves from there. Now we notice Chuck on the muddy way where he is looking at a map. Where should he go? A coming girl tells him the way. 
Her car has the same wing mark that a package has. Chuck is now continuing to pursue her. And she trips the same house where Chuck had left a paper note. She has also ended up losing her business associate. Chuck and Bettina's federation may be available in the future. Chuck has a sliver of hope in his eyes. But with that, the film's story ends. Thanks for watching.